Hi, I'm Rick Harpenow, inventor of the Linalert. Let me introduce you to Laddie. Laddie's our dryer demonstration instrument. We use this to test and demonstrate how the Linalert deals with lint buildup in a typical home environment. To minimize its footprint, we will only be dealing with the core components of the dryer's exhaust system. Here we've added a typical flex transition hose connected to an iris style damper that we'll use to simulate lint buildup by closing down the aperture or choking the airflow. Here we've teed off the tubing to display the analog pressure levels with an industry standard magnahelic gauge that quickly indicates low air pressures up to two water column inches. In order for the Linalert to accurately monitor the air pressure levels in the specific dryer's exhaust duct, the device needs to be calibrated to your particular system at a like new or very clean state. In technical terms, a clean value must be recorded to memory in order to determine the proper interval proportions. These intervals are then progressively illuminated over time through the LED light bar. Let's start with demonstrating three different calibration attempts of the Linalert. First I'll show that the Linalert will not allow calibration if the dryer is off. Calibration is necessary and is achieved by holding the button in for five seconds. In this case, since the dryer is not running, the LED light bar displays LEDs 1 and 2 which indicate no pressure found and will not allow a calibration. Next, I'll attempt a calibration with a simulated clogged duct. And in this case, the LED light bar displays LEDs 4 and 5 which indicate excessive back pressure found and will not allow a calibration. In this final effort, we'll attempt a calibration with a typical or likely home environment. Pressure levels in this group range from 0.2 to 0.8 inches of water column pressure. Depending on what the Linalert sensor finds, we'll determine what the pressure intervals the microprocessor will use to illuminate the LED blockage indicator lights. The lower the initial clean value pressure found, the larger the intervals. And on the flip side, the higher initial clean value pressure found, the smaller the intervals. In this example, we successfully captured a clean value pressure of 0.5 water column inch, a pretty good mid-range or typical level. And after a slight pause, we observe the first green LED is illuminated, indicating to us that the dryer is on and that about the same amount of back pressure exists as when we initially calibrated. As I choke the airflow by slowly closing the aperture, you'll observe in some unison that as the gauge needle rises, so does the blockage indicator light bar. If I turn off the dryer, the light bar goes out as no pressure exists. Upon restarting the dryer, the Linalert reveals that the same levels of back pressure still exist in the system. Over time, as lint continues to build up, so will the blockage indicator until the final stage, which includes the combination of blinking lights and audible tone. The audible tone can be muted with a single push of the button. The blinking will remain as a reminder to assess the cause of the severe back pressure found. Once the back pressure has been relieved, most likely accomplished by cleaning out the exhaust conduit or termination hood, the lint alert can be recalibrated. If the alarm state was accidental, perhaps the kids were interfering with the termination hood, simply power cycle the lint alert. Remember to calibrate with no clothes in the drum and with a clean lint screen.